Welcome back to New Zero Lands. In this episode, I'm taking off the onboard charger. Before removing the stock charger, I have to put up a disclaimer. Because I have no idea what removing the stock charger does to your warranty. Uh, I don't have a warranty anymore. The warranty on the bike, when I got it, was only good for two years. Uh, I still have a warranty on the battery for five years, but I figured as soon as I shipped it over to New Zealand, there's no dealerships here, so, so I'm not even sure what my warranty means, but if you're worried about your warranty, don't even do this. Skip over this video and go to the next one. This video is for people whose onboard charger died and you don't have a warranty, and so you want to remove it and replace it with something. Or you could be in a situation where you only ever charge at home. So you could take off your stock charger, leave it in your garage, and then you'd have a bike that weighs about 8 kilos less, 16 pounds or something like that. And so it would accelerate faster, you'd get longer range, it'd just be more fun to ride without more weight. Or you're someone like me whose stock charger still works totally fine, but you just want to charge faster and put three DigiNows down here in a custom pan. So now that all that's out of the way, if you're one of those people, keep watching. First things first, you need to take off this mud guard because it's overlapping the charger pan, and that's just a 3mm Allen wrench. And there are eight more to take off that are holding on the pan. Alright, well, that wasn't too hard. Here's the charger pan, skid pan, skid plate, whatever it is. Uh, this one's just made out of plastic, actually, but it's super, super thick and really strong. Uh, actually, let's weigh this and see how much we've lost. Zero. Okay. Basically 850 grams. That's 1.8 pounds you just saved. Like two burritos. So this is the charger that comes with the Zero S, DS, SR, DSR, all that stuff. Uh, FX has a smaller one. This is a green watt power. It's basically a 1.3 kilowatt charger. Charges the battery in about nine hours. You can take it off by removing six of these three millimeter Allen head bolts. But before removing the charger, make sure you're not charging. I don't know why I had to say that, just make sure you, everything's unplugged. Why would you, it just doesn't make sense, but you know what, there's always somebody. Okay, let's get to it. Before unbolting the charger, there are three cables at the back to unplug. The one on the right goes up to the battery. It's got an Anderson connector at the top, and it's a huge pain to get out. The middle one is a bunch of communication stuff, and that just unplugs from the charger. And the one on the left snakes up behind the frame and ends up where you normally plug in the cord from the wall. The middle plug is pretty easy, you just pinch and pull out. That. The Anderson on the right though is a huge pain to get to because it's right behind this motor mount and you have to cut some zip ties. Since you can't disconnect this from the charger and you have to fit this down through here, which there just isn't any room, uh, the best way to do it is to actually take the wires out of the Anderson connector. So you should be able to feed this through down here, like that. Yeah, easy. And if you want to put the Anderson back on, it's just red is positive, black is negative, line it up with this, positive, negative, and have these. These have little like lips and have those lips go in so that they push these these little prongs down. Kind of like this. And if you hear a click, you did it right. To get the third cable off, you just follow it up, up through the frame. Goes like this, loops up and comes back down to where the, the stock charge port is. And so we're gonna have to take this one off first. Um, because there's a whole other thing up here that you have to take off. On the inside of the charge board, there are two bolts holding it in, and they're 2.5 millimeter Allen heads. And these are really difficult to get to. Alright, stock charging port is unbolted, and so this, along with a whole bunch of other wires, are being held together. There's a clip up here that you have to get at, same as the other side. So just don't stab yourself. These things are genius, but also evil. Look at those teeth. So then just cut the zip tie and your cables will be free. But you're not free yet. Just when you thought you were done. What's this wire? Oh, it, 
Why well, it goes up here? Now you need to disconnect this thing, which I think is a fuse. I'm not really sure. Somebody will tell me online. I think it was a fuse. But to take off this connector, you need to squeeze the middle, right, in the middle of this green. Squeeze and then pull this green part out, and then everything should come apart. All right, now that we've successfully unplugged the wires, now it's time to finally unbolt the charger. All right, there we go. Super, super dirty, but let's get this thing on the scale. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, so, so heavy. Oh, it's too heavy. <laughs> okay, time for a serious scale. There you go. Seven kilos exactly. That's just over 15 pounds for the stock charger, plus the pan, that's about 17 pounds that we just saved. Actually, how much do these bikes weigh from the factory? So now my Zero should be a sub 400 pound bike. Just to compare what I'm replacing it with, there's one Digi now, and that's four kilos. And here's the size comparison. 1.3 kilowatts, 3.3 kilowatts, yeah. But once again, don't do this if you're worried about your warranty or if you're not comfortable modifying a high voltage electric motorcycle. It could be dangerous if you do it yourself. And also riding around without a charger is not for everybody. If you already had range anxiety, this will definitely make it worse. But hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go wash my hands.